Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking security systems, whether it's for a home or a business, and we are going to show you how to properly and safely replace the battery inside your glass break sensor. Right way to do this, wrong way to do this. If you do it wrong, you might get yourself in trouble. Let's do it the right way. Let's get started. All right, DIYers, here we are at the glass break sensor. And at a first glance, in the event that you have motion sensors, you can tell the difference between a glass break sensor and a motion sensor. And again, in front of us now is a glass break sensor, and it does not have that sight panel that a motion sensor does. It just has that little hole with the indent oval engravement to it or recessed cutout that detects the actual sound and pressure of a window being broken. However, again, we are going to show you the proper and safe way to replace your battery in your glass break sensor. And coming to the very bottom portion of the sensor, you have a little slot. And the slot itself is actually machine cut into the base that is secured tight with screws to the wall. In other words, the outer cap or cover of your sensor does not have that recessed slot cutout. And what you want to do is grab a flathead screwdriver and I recommend grabbing a thick flathead screwdriver. In other words, not a very fine tip or thin flathead screwdriver. That could actually lead to stripping that slot and scraping your sensor and that's not what you want. Or in our case, that's not what we want. So again, grab a flathead screwdriver with more of a thicker tip or cut to it. And we did just that. Here is our Craftsman flathead screwdriver again with a thicker tip. And I applied electrical tape around the actual tip. And that will be personal preference. The reason I did that is to add just a little layer of cushion as well as grip to the tip of the screwdriver. And that's going to do two things. Number one, again, it is going to give me more cushion when I insert the screwdriver in that little slot and separate the cap from the base. In other words, it's going to decrease the possibility of damaging that little slot cutout on the plastic base itself. And in addition, the added grip with the tape is going to alleviate the actual screwdriver from slipping out and scraping the entire sensor or casing. And that's not what we want either. So again, I just apply that electrical tape to the tip for those two added benefits. And from here, I'm going to carefully bring the screwdriver in and line up the tip of the screwdriver inside that little slot. Once you get it inside that little slot, continue to apply upward pressure from the bottom portion of your screwdriver and simultaneously turn the screwdriver to the right. And these little caps are held on tight. You will hear it pop off and you may even hear our security system begin to sound. There we go. And you can hear the sound. There we go. And I'm going to carefully pivot the cover up. And as you can see, there's the battery. I will lower that down. I will go cancel the alarm. And I have silenced the alarm and I'm going to carefully pull up on the cap and you see the hinges up top. It is plastic. Do not break those hinges. And I'm going to carefully rest that cap in place with one finger without scraping the ceiling. And you've got a positive lead and negative lead side of the little housing that the battery slides into. And just carefully pull the battery out. And it is best to pull the battery straight out without adding any slant or angle to it. Just pull it straight out and I'm going to carefully lower the cap without securing it. And from here, we'll head to the workstation and grab our brand new battery. All right, DIYers inside to the workstation and we are always busy here. And this is my Mono Daz 2003 c GTX. We just pulled the engine out for a full overhaul and reinstalled it. And over here, my wife's 1995 c XP and some upcoming DIY repair videos on that. We're excited about all of of our jet ski videos. However, let's head to the workbench. Making our way around the jet ski and DIYers, we are always busy here, working on jet skis, boats, and more. However, to the replacement batteries, down below in the comment section, as well as the description section, will be a link on where to purchase these. All right, DOR is back to the glass break sensor, and here is our brand new battery. We went with Duracell, and again, it is a CR123 lithium battery. And we are going to carefully lift the cap up and prop it up with our finger. And again, positive lead on bottom, negative on top, and simultaneously push the battery into that housing in a straight manner. 
as shown there. And double check everything. It's a good time to clean the inner portion of your sensor in the event that it is dusty, full of cobwebs, or if you see any bugs in there, get those out of there. And from here, carefully lower your cover down and one finger on either side of the bottom portion of the cap and push until it clicks and is locked in place. As shown there. And DIYers, it is that simple. We hope this helps. And before we wrap this video up, we do want to show you our motion sensors because in the event that you have motion sensors that do have batteries, in other words, they are not hardwired to your system, you will need to replace those batteries once your security system detects that the batteries themselves have low voltage. And DIYers, we have you covered on that. Let's go take a look. And here we are to the motion sensor that does require a battery, or in other words, has a battery inside that needs to be replaced once the system detects that it has low voltage. And if your sensor does look like this, it is very likely that it is battery operated and not hardwired and will require replacing the battery. And DIYers, for your help and convenience, scrolling above right now is a link to a video that shows you the proper and safe way to replace your battery on your motion sensor that looks like this. So definitely check that out. We hope to see you there from here. We hope this video helps. Do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.